Welcome Pokemon fans to the Snowpoint Temple YouTube channel. My name is Angel of the Night 091, founder of the Snowpoint Temple community, and uh, today we have an official gym leader match. We have uh, Riley, our psychic gym leader, going up against Prince, the challenger. Uh, Riley today has with him Delphox, Malamar, um, Gallade, Alakazam, Metagross, and Ex uh, Executor. And uh, Prince has Dragonite, Clefable, Zapdos, Entei, Scizor, and I believe that's a Mega Blastoise if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so as you guys can tell, we're going with a little bit of a different setup here for these League matches. Uh, I will be commentating each individual one personally. So hopefully it, you guys will enjoy this. Uh, so let's go ahead here uh, and take a step into the first official League match for August 2016. Uh, so let's jump right in here. Uh, I apologize if I'm a little bit, uh, you know, rusty at my announcing. I haven't been announcing videos for a very long time. Uh, so it looks like here the first Pokemon that Riley's going to send out here is uh, Delphox. And of course it looks like Blastoise is going to come out there for Prince. Now of course Prince is going to go ahead here and Mega Evolve his Blastoise. And there we go, Mega Blastoise onto the field there, boys. And Delphox going for the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, now that Dazzling Gleam is going to do maybe about a quarter of the damage. And there's a retaliation with the Dark Pulse. Now the Dark Pulse is going to take out that Delphox, of course. So we are down one Pokemon for uh, RK. And uh, Executor is going to come out onto the field there next. And of course, Prince is going to then retaliate again with another Dark Pulse, uh, taking out the Executor. Now, if RK or Riley uh, doesn't actually have anything for this Dark Pulse, this could actually be very bad for him, uh, possibly risking his 6-0. Unfortunately, the Focus Blast does miss, and here's another Dark Pulse coming in and attacking the Alakazam, and uh, looks like it has the Focus Sash. Now, Focus Sash uh, holding on the Alakazam there, and it looks like he is going to be able to get that Focus Blast off. And it's going to hit into the Blastoise, not enough to take it out. And of course the Skull taking down the Alakazam. Now at this point, uh, we are currently 3-0 uh, at the moment. Or not 3-0, I mean RK has uh, 3 Pokemon down. Um, and Prince has 0 Pokemon fainted. Now the Glade is out onto the field going for that Shadow Sneak. Not enough to pick up the KO. And uh, there's the Scald. Scald's going to be able to come in, do some decent amount of damage off onto that Glade. Uh, and of course, RK is just going to go for the Shadow Sneak there to finish off the Blastoise finally. So we are finally seeing one of Prince's Pokemon go down. Uh, from here, of course, it looks like the Glade has a Life Orb, so it is going to lose its health uh, very slowly uh, each turn after every attack. Uh, Prince is going to lead off in with his Zapdos here now. Looks like it just took an Ice Punch to the face, and uh, the Glade is going to lose some of its hit points there because of the Life Orb. There's the Thunderbolt taking down the Glade. Unfortunately, Arcane is now down to two Pokemon, guys, and uh, Prince still has five. Uh, so in comes the Metagross. Metagross is a Psychic Steel type Pokemon, of course. Uh, now will we see the Mega here? We are in fact going to see the Mega. We are going to see Mega Metagross come out here, and a shiny Mega Metagross at that. Uh, and uh, what are we going to see here? It looks like he's going to go for the Rock Polish. The Rock Polish is going to raise up his speed, of course, quite sharply. Uh, but it looks like this Zapdos has Heat Wave. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to affect the Metagross quite high. Uh, highly and uh, take it down to 65 hit points. Now the Zapdos slowly regaining its health there with the leftovers and the Ice Punch coming in to get that Zapdos there again. Uh, and we see the second Pokemon go down for Prince. Alright, there's a Scizor coming into play. Scizor is a Bug Steel type Pokemon and it looks like the Metagross is gonna go for that Meteor Mash. Uh, now the Meteor Mash not very effective here not really taking any damage onto that Scizor. And it looks like the knockoff is going to come in with a critical hit and uh, steal the KO on that Metagross. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe RK has one Pokemon left, while uh, Prince has four. Uh, in comes the Malamar, and uh, Malamar's got the whole Super Saiyan look going on here. There's the knockoff. Now, of course, Malamar is Psychic and Dark-type. 
Uh, so it is going to be able to hang on here. There is the superpower uh, not doing a whole lot of damage, but uh, it is going to get the attack and the, I believe it was defense raised, if I'm not mistaken. The leftovers coming back from the Scizor. Scizor going back into Prince's party. And it looks like here we've got Clefable coming out onto the field. There's the superpower coming from that Malamar. Not effective whatsoever, but it is going to raise the attack and, of course, the defense of that Malamar. And here we see some more lefties coming in to uh, regain health back to that Clefable. <laughs> All right, the knockoff, not very effective, but it is gonna knock off that leftovers. And here we have the Moonblast coming in. Will this Malamar stay in? Oh, it's staying in by two hit points, guys. And it looks like the special attack was raised. Malamar is gonna go to sleep here and regain some of its health. Hopefully it has a berry to wake itself up here. We will see here in due time. Ah, oh, no berry to wake up. And there's the moon blast. Will this be enough for Prince? No. 47 hit points, but unfortunately Malamar is still asleep. Uh, going for the sleep talk though, that's huge. Uh, superpower. I don't know if this is going to be enough to do anything to Clefable. Of course it does have the fairy type, so it does resist that superpower. Although, uh, it is getting some crazy attack boosts. Uh, unfortunately, that Malamar is not going to be able to cut it and uh, is going to faint. So if I'm not mistaken, that was uh, RK's last Pokemon and the wind goes off to Prince. If you guys enjoyed that battle there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Post your comments in the comment section below and remember to hit that sub button. Guys, if you guys would like to challenge the Snowpoint Temple uh, League, be sure to stop over to SnowpointTemple.com go to the league category and select registration. Uh, it is required to register a team of six Pokemon with three additional Pokemon there that you can choose uh, to be called upon at any time. Now you do have to register your items, although the items are not posted unless they're mega items. Uh, so on your profile onto the page, of course, it will show your nine available Pokemon, but it will not show the items and it will not show any more information about your pokes. Uh, so that way it's kept confidential for you so that way you have some strategy. Now of course all battles get recorded and uploaded to the Snowpoint Temple uh, community YouTube channel and then they're posted to the profile to verify the wins and losses of the league. Uh, that way you guys know exactly what progress you're on and exactly you can see what you did last time that you may want to fix this time around. So. Uh, hope, like I said, hopefully everyone enjoyed the battle. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you all take care. Peace.